Welcome to Good Mythical More. Maybe you got a partner. Maybe you need to know what not to eat with that partner in given situations. Maybe one day you'll have a partner. Yeah. Maybe you don't need a partner and this is gonna be confirmation of that. Uh, yes, but first, we're going to play Ready Pet Go where we look at one of your pets. This one's submitted by Avi Don. And we try to guess the name of said pet. Oh, I like it when this happens. Is, is that, that a, a what bunny? is that? What? Where's Good the face? Lord, is that a, a butt? Star Wars thing. Is, is that the face of the butt? Is it coming? Is it going away or? Exactly. <laughs> it's a butt-faced bunny. Is that a nose or a butthole? That's a gaping butthole on the face of a bunny, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, I really can't tell. Is this an AI-generated furry thing? I okay. That is the face of a bunny, but. I'm gonna say the it's, bunny's eyes are squinted shut, right? I'm gonna say it's Daniel. Daniel, <laughs> I think it's Furby. Fur Yeti. Yeti. Oh, that's good. What does anybody have any more information about this creature? It it's is a, a rabbit. It's a special rabbit. Is it squinting its eyes? Is it laughing at us? <laughs> I think its eyes are covered in fur. That is amazing. An English Angora rabbit? English Angora? That is yeah. crazy. I don't understand why in the one photo there's like more black on its. I think because the wind is being pushed back because it's moving so fast. It's, the wind is pushing back its Ooh. face. But the way that the, the way that the arms are coming forward. I want to say it's cute, but I'm also a little scared of it. Well, it has like both a unibrow and a mustache, and I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> and the unibrow is like a dirty blonde. I can't make sense of it. I gotta see this thing in person. Ship to it to us. I need to see, some, well, <laughs> we'll ship it back when we're done. <laughs> ship it to us. Ship us a Yeti. Um, okay, so this more AI also came up with, and so you're going to be determining live the top five food partners shouldn't be eating together. I'm gonna give you a situation, okay. and you're gonna tell me what the one thing is in that situation, partners should not eat together. So okay. on a first date. Anything with garlic. Well, you may you might not be making out on a first date, you know? You, just... you might be doing more. Really? Yeah. And you know what? You're gonna be talking close. Yeah, you're definitely gonna be talking. If a first date There goes... may not be any other action, but there's definitely gonna if be a, talking. And now, uh, if, if a first date goes well, there's a little, Canoodling that happens at the end. I mean, just like this, you know, some sort. Maybe just a peck on the cheek, but that could be a that could be a form of canoodling. If but, you both eat garlic, though, isn't it okay? No, because you can still smell the other person's garlic, even yeah. if it's coming out of you. Yeah. Huh. Now, but I don't think you should I, avoid like messy stuff. I, I would say also something that's like bean heavy. You should avoid that because if it's going to be a really late night, things go really well. That's gonna come back to haunt you. But I think that the garlic is is a bigger deal. Yeah. I, well, I, and I'm David gonna... makes a good point too. Spicy food's probably not a good choice I either. Think, well, I think for the first one, for a first date, it's garlic. Cause I'm assuming that you're not gonna, you're not gonna be like. You, you... But even if you like, let's say you go back, you watch a movie together, you know, you don't wanna be getting up or doing other stuff. You say garlic is not as bad as spicy? Uh, no, I'm not saying one's spicy, worse than the other. Spicy I'm just won't saying... mess with me until like the next day. I can, I can okay. usually get, through, David. get David. through the night. It messes with David right away. Yeah, I, I usually get through the night and then the next no, day. No, but like, also Ooh. gaseous foods, gaseous. What a funny yeah. word. Gaseous. I mean, We're you don't want to be garlic, watching a Steve. movie. Okay, the answer is garlic. You got it correct. I don't know. How, is, it, with these how is there an answer? There's no answer. I was just trying oh, to make you feel okay. good. <laughs> oh, that may, hey, I, you know I, what? It worked. That could be a way of life. Just telling me I was right even when it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like I just learned something about the way my brain works. She was like, you got it right. I was like, well, okay. I can go on living. <laughs> okay. The next scenario is when seated together on a long flight. A long flight. Um, fish. Any fish dish on a plane is the worst. People get break open some fish on a plane, man. Especially if it's like a, um, if it's a leftover situation. Leftover like, like fish. You're pulling it out. Old of a, fish. You're pulling it out of a Tupperware. You know, you're cracking that thing open, and it's like it's. They don't serve fish on any of the, like you don't get fish in a in a in like a nice. 
airplane mm-hmm. food. They don't do that Mm-mm. for the same reason. We're going with fish. Correct. Yes. <laughs> two for two. Yes. I love this game. Oh, this is, of course, a daily scenario. Uh, when painting nude portraits of each other. That's a, that's a fun little date. That would be quite a date. It's very bachelor-esque, you know? It's I mean, like how, on television. How, how, how serious do you have to be before you, before you, you, you perch that one and, and, and see if it falls off the limb, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, what do you think about seeing someone naked in an artistic I've got, sense I've got, I've got before an you see them in a sexual sense? That's an interesting way to think about things. I'm, yeah, and that's how you would have to explain. Oh, it wouldn't be sexual. I'm just going to be seeing you in an artistic sense. <laughs> I'm only interpreting that artistically. Uh, but the food, I guess, just something that might spill down onto your body. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> you don't want to cover anything up, but like right. you don't want like a like. I mean, I think or a, something that can burn you. A whopper. Here's what it is. Oh, you don't want to eat a whopper. Because yeah. you know how much mayonnaise they put on the Whopper? Yeah. And the bottom of a Whopper is really hot. And you bite the Whopper and all of a sudden you got like mayonnaise going all down your... Hold on, I don't get... Uh-oh. You don't want that? Yeah, you almost then you're gonna, me on. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to paint it. Artistically. Yeah, I almost got turned on creatively when you talked about mayonnaise dripping on someone's body. Yeah, but you don't want... Yeah, I'm saying you don't want a new portrait of somebody with mayonnaise dripping on I body. think I wouldn't paint... If mayonnaise fell on a woman's breast as I was painting it, I, would, I wouldn't include the mayonnaise in the painting. You have I would to. just... I'd be like, I'll pretend that's not no, there. You have to. You have to. Just paint this right is, around it. This is, called, this is called a real life. It's kind of like a still life, but it's a lot. What's that on her breast? Um, mayonnaise. <laughs> she <laughs> she, ate she a was eating a Whopper. <laughs> Don't eat a Whopper, I'm telling you. She made the decision to eat a Whopper. Do you agree? <laughs> yeah, you're totally right. So we're going with Whopper. Whopper. You are correct. Yes! yes! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> what yes! Are the, what are the chances that a Whopper would be the answer? I don't know. <laughs> What's the next scenario? Uh, When assembling IKEA furniture together. Okay. I want to give a quick shout out to the Mythical Kitchen channel before we answer this. Check out the Mythical Kitchen channel. They got new episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. They have fun. They're creative. There's food involved. There's multiple reasons to enjoy it. Pick one. Mythical Kitchen. I'm going to go with, and hear me out here, Ethiopian food. Are you nude again? Because have you been to an Ethiopian restaurant? I went recently, last week actually. It was in Was- Washington D.C. So they put out a big. It's a big. There, it's, there's a name for it. It's like a. It's a large pancake type thing. Yeah. They put the food on top of it, then they give you more of the same thing, and you grab it. And what I noticed, I've is, heard. I've never done it. I want to. Oh, do it's it. so good. I love it. But because you're using this bread, and if you're like a first or second, or maybe this is my third time. You end up getting greasy fingers because you're like you're ending up making contact with some of the meats and the stuff. Okay. And I had greasy fingers. You don't want to be putting together IKEA furniture with greasy fingers. Because because the furniture is so slick. Right. Well, and you don't you don't you got to touch like you have to like turn the page of the thing and you've got you have to. Well, pick the up Allen the wrench. Think about turning an Allen wrench. You can't hold on to an Allen wrench with the greasy fingers. Allen wrench because they tell you not to use the drills. Not to use a zzz, don't no, use that. never drill You got to use the Allen wrench. I'm yeah. like, screw you, Ikea. Yeah. So, I'm not, I have a zzz, I'm not going to use an Allen wrench. So we're going way out on a limb for this, Stevie, and we're going to say the worst food to eat with your partner while working on Ikea furniture is Ethiopian, Ethiopian food. Guys, <laughs> I don't know how you're doing this. But it is a queen sweep so I far. What? Yes, Man. Ethiopian food. I dug so deep for I that. don't know. I don't know how. That's doing why it. at IKEA they have the signage with Ethiopian food with a big like cross yeah, like, through oh, it. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, yeah. do oh, not. Right. They don't yeah. serve it in the cafeteria either. There. Yeah. Then <laughs> that's exactly why. <laughs> <laughs> um, before IKEA is an Ethiopian establishment, uh, right? Establishment. Yeah. Right. Before defending your world championship laser tag title. Oh my goodness. Laser tag. You know, it it's kind it's it kind of stinks 
in the laser tag world. It's kind of like a, it smells like a locker everywhere. It's I don't a, know why. It, well, there it's because it's an enclosed dark space. I well, think. there was that time when our kids, uh, Locke and Lincoln, were both getting into sort of Pokemon uh, tournaments. And we and I yeah. remember one time Locke was like, Dad, take me to so and so. It was in, I think it was in Sherman Oaks and it was like a comic book shop, but in the back they had a Pokemon tournament. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was like mostly like teen boys mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and maybe some older guys. And uh, I just remember walking him back t to that area, and when I got back there, there was a very distinct smell that I would now categorize as laser tag tournament. <laughs> laser tag tournament yeah. smell, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it and, happens uh, in, in, in places. It's a similar like scent. That too. <laughs> but you're getting sure. ready for that. So what, where? I think you need something very aromatic. You wanna keep you, you, you something that makes you smell good and keeps you light on your feet. So maybe like so a, this is, a wanna, mint? Well, then we're back to garlic because we're we have to say the worst thing. The though well, this would be the worst. So this right. would be the opposite of mint. Mm -hmm. What's something that hold super on. heavy? What's hold, the heaviest? What's something that when you eat it, it makes you visible in the dark? Oh, you're, like you're eating like you're eating glow in the dark food. We did I that. On, we did that on this show. I might say something really heavy like radioactive lasagna. <laughs> I mean, well, I that's going to kill you, but you're not going to be visible immediately. No, if it's radioactive enough, you will be seen. Okay, why lasagna though? Because it's heavy and it's got the garlic in it, so you're gonna stink and you're gonna be hard to move around. Oh, and it's gonna come out of your pores? Come out of your pores. So I thought it's not just the sauce coming coming off your- You might get some sauce on you, which is even more visible. Okay, we're... Radioactive lasagna. Radioactive lasagna. Okay, but are you sure you don't wanna think about like things that make sound? You know, you could be, you could eat some stuff that makes sound, that could be Gosh. not good. Is this a hint? How about radioactive tortilla chips? Well, they're eating tortilla chips make sound. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're eating. No, them I like mean when they're inside of you. Like you could swallow. You could. You could. The buzzers that they have when at restaurants are inside of you to let you know oh, that no, no. the table's you know what ready. Is it what I was be, gonna say. It might be maracas. <laughs> yeah. It might. Yeah. Be an edible. It might be a radioactive edible, edible maraca. maraca. Oh. But two of them. So we're gonna go again out on a limb. Two radioactive, radioactive edible, edible maracas. maracas. Okay, but are you sure? Are you sure? Out, out of anything that could make sound. Oh, no. It, okay, okay. Tambourines. One, yes, one radioactive edible tambourine. Yes. We're going to go with tambourine. Final for answer. Guys, I am so glad you changed because yeah! you're right! And everybody in the comments telling me I shouldn't what? have helped them. Screw you! <laughs> what? <laughs> Screw you. What? Man, what? I feel so good about myself. Man. And we almost didn't get it. We almost lost it. I mean, she gave us a hint, but. Yeah, right. I, we'll I, take I, it. I'll take what I can get. We'll take it. All right, is there another? No, one, we one just celebrated. One? We're, We're done. done. That was it. We just oh, celebrated. We made it. Yeah, we did it. It doesn't happen that often. No, it doesn't. Hmm. But it feels good. We're gonna need a lot of ham to keep our energy up because we got a lot to do. Uh, so this is actually inspired. I'm like a seal. Or, or. 